who's unfortunately mm. um south south side jane rapper nhs jj yeah reportedly died in hamilton Today, we'll be talking about Jay Alexander, also known as NHS JJ. He was a 20-year-old underground rap star from Toronto at the time of his death. Before we get into the details, I want to say thank you for all the love and support, especially from the Torontoology Reddit community. I appreciate you guys and will continue to release quality content. Moving on, JJ grew up in Southside Jane and Finch, which is notoriously known for being one of Toronto's most dangerous neighborhoods. JJ confirms in his song Rapid that he grew up without a mother and how it had impacted him. Losing my mom only made me not give a shit. He also has a daughter who he publicly posted on his social media pages. There is not much other to be known publicly about his family life as he hasn't come out about it nor has he done any interviews. Moving on from his family life, let's get into the music side of JJ. JJ was an active member of the music group known as NHS, which stands for Never Had Shit, alongside artists such as NHS Lil BK and NHS Kenzo. Other artists like Doovy, LB Spiffy, and Hoodby Peppa are also from Southside Jane and are connected with the NHS music group but don't have the NHS prefix before their stage name. JJ currently sits at 10,000 monthly listeners on Spotify, which definitely took a toll after his death. He started his rap career back in the summer of 2017 after releasing the music video for Grindin, which is currently sitting at 200,000 views on YouTube. JJ was on and off the rap scene, dropping a song every so often. About half a year after he dropped his debut song, he was featured on a Prince Dawn track in the early of 2018, and in the summer of 2018, he dropped his breakthrough single called Trap Life. This was his biggest song to date, and as soon as JJ saw a spike in his fan base, he was charged and arrested for the trafficking of illegal substances on November 12th of 2018. The police seized over $22,000 in Canadian currency, along with 170 grams of fentanyl, 130 grams of cocaine, and over 500 oxycodone pills, for a total of a $120,000 bust. Now, I don't know if you guys live in Canada or not, but if you live in Canada, you might know that the law system in Canada is lenient towards the first time offenders and young offenders. And since JJ was only 18 at the date of his arrest, he was let out back during the summer of 2019. As soon as he was out, he released a song Rapid, where he talks about how the police had put his money in the stash after he was raided. Seen the cars, put my money in the stash. JJ had gotten more consistent with his music in 2020, releasing an album in June called My Ada. He followed up with a few more singles before dropping his second album in October called Refund, which included his most popular track to date named Dream. Unfortunately, JJ was not able to see his song take over Toronto as he was shot and killed in the early hours of November 1st of 2020. It was 12.10am, the night of Halloween, where JJ found himself in Lincoln, Ontario, located in the Niagara region, which is an hour drive from Toronto, his hometown. Rumors claim he was set up, but these are just speculations and are not confirmed true. Following JJ's death, an opposition rapper known as FM from the north side of Jane and Finch trolled him by playing his new hit dream out loud the morning after his death you guys remember what you did oh my god remember you guys doing some petty shit oh my god what i'm gonna do to you guys home today i'm gonna decorate no 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 i'm gonna decorate your homie's grave remember you're talking that sick i'm gonna piss out you fucking bitch Duvi, a close friend of JJ's, clapped back by playing Belmont Boys by the sea strapper Houdini who was a close friend of fm <laughs> This was not the first instance of the opposition team trolling, as you can see YG35 constantly trolling in JJ's Instagram comments. The death of JJ only seemed to instigate problems in the city, with rappers throwing disses and dropping diss tracks towards JJ and his set. Toronto artist Top 5 released a snippet on his Instagram story alongside artist Jay Nee dissing JJ. Jay Nee is also an artist from the north side of Jaden Finch, which makes him an opposition artist. Now watch this snippet. <laughs> This song was most likely made after a heated argument between Doovy and Top 5 on DJ Academics' Twitch stream. Your bro died off of a Legos. Dude. What the fuck? DJ oh, just got shit. packed. Your bro died off of a Legos. Like that that guy is not a soldier. Packed. 
I'm telling you, yo, 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 listen, he's not a soldier. How did he die off of a leg shot? Your brother died off of a leg shot. Look, that's your brother. You're crying. Your mom was at home crying. JJ got hurt. You are you crying for me? That hurt you. You didn't hurt you. You didn't hurt you. That hurt you. You didn't hurt you. That hurt you. And Hoya was crying. JJ hurt you. JJ's music is available on all streaming platforms and links to his social media will be provided in the description section to this video. I also want to say rest in peace to JJ and condolences to his family. That does it for today's video. Thank you for watching.